Hi friends, greetings. I am so glad that you have joined me today. This is Patty Bennett and I blog at pattystamps.com. You are going to find more details on these cute projects on July 15th on my blog, pattystamps.com. I was trying to do my weekly live video and my signal is was just not cooperating, so I do apologize. So here I am recording a video for you instead. I really miss chatting with you all though, so I'm sorry that we're not live and I'm not seeing your comments. Today we are using the Stampin' Up! So Refreshing Bundle. It's so cute. It's on page 29 in our current catalog. I just love it. I loved it when I saw it in the catalog for the first time. One thing that really intrigued me in the set of dies was this picture that doesn't actually have a stamp to go with it. This picture goes with the stamps. This one is different. And so here it is, just die cut from some designer paper. I knew I was going to have fun with that, die cutting it with different patterns, different colors, different, sh um, not shapes, but embossing folders, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So this was something that intrigued me about this bundle beyond just the fact that you can make cute cards with all sorts of different beverages. So in my color palette, we have Lemon Lolly for the lemonade. I did either Kool-Aid or Limeade with the Lemon Lime Twist. I've got Pink Lemonade with the Bubble Bath. The Flirty Flamingo or the Berry Burst, they kind of do a cute strawberry lemonade or almost maybe a sangria. So we're going to look at the differences in stamping with those. And then I also wanted to show you that I stamped most of my outlines, so the picture and the glasses, with basic gray. I didn't do black. And then I also tried it with balmy blue. So I'm going to show you that as well for the outline. So let's stamp a few of these and then we'll look in more detail at these cards. I've also got my pretty color palette over here as well. So here we have some of the pictures that I've already stamped. These are in the basic gray. These are in the balmy blue. And there's kind of a difference when you get these stamped and it's fun to look at just how they look different from one another. So to start with, let's just do Lemon Lolly for Lemonade. And I am going to probably want to just do some test stamping or stamping off. I always kind of like to do that just, you know, just to make sure that everything is looking great. So I hope I don't bump the camera because I'm kind of standing up and looking up through the camera to what I'm stamping. So here is our lemon lolly just for some fun lemonade. Clean that off and then I'm going to grab bubble bath and that will be, this is probably like pink lemonade. I'm kind of thinking that's what this would be. Again, just test it, make sure. My bubble bath is really light and I think it's supposed to be really light. It is a light pink. If you want it darker, what I found is I just stamped it twice. And that got it a little darker, a, a little more like a pink lemonade. So there's pink. And then let's try Flirty Flamingo for sort of a strawberry lemonade, maybe, I think. Yep, that'll look good. Oh yeah, and almost a sangria, right? Almost, and forgive me for stamping outside that line. Like I said, I'm standing up and I'm trying to look through my camera to do this, so <laughs> it's a little tricky there. <laughs> All right, so that's the basic gray outline. Now let's look at it. I probably could have done these at the same time, but that's all right. 
let's look at the difference of using the blue outline, the balmy blue outline. I really like how this looks, and I'll hold this up closer as soon as I finish stamping these other two. But I liked how that looked. I thought that was kind of a, almost a, a nice summery sort of a look. And there's our bubble bath for pink lemonade. And then let's just do a quick one in Lemon Lime Twist for, um, I don't know if it's Kool-Aid or if it is um, Limeade, but you know, whatever you'd like it to be. Oh gosh, I can't even. Okay, we're gonna just wing this because I can't see through my camera over here. Pretty close, not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there we have some fun different colors that you might want to use for different types of beverages. And then you can see here how cute they are when you end up die cutting them. Aren't they adorable? How fun is this? I've even stamped the little um, round citrus fruit in some of them in different colors. I think that is really cute as well. But then there's this other stamp. There's this piece. I know, sorry about the glare. But this piece will stamp up here on top of the, the top part of the picture and the handle. So I used Pool Party for that, but I stamped off. So I'll show you. I stamped off, not super hard, but a little bit. And then... That's even a little dark. Let me let me do another one a little bit lighter. Not that it's too dark. I just sort of liked it a little more subtle. It's okay. It's all right. Um, it's it's a little bit darker than some of the other samples I did. But I wanted to give you the idea of having a clear part of the top of your picture, or you could kind of fill it in so that it looks almost like glass. Let's just do one of the blue ones, just so I can show you that as well. Okay, so do you see the difference then of stamping the outline in blue or gray, adding the blue or leaving it white? So those are just some of your options. I wanted to show you some of the options there in case you wanted to play with these. Now, I want to show you something really cool. Look at this difference. This is a technique that I have shared with you before. I took a class with Barry and Jay from Mitosu Crafts, and this is when you use watercolor pencils and you start adding more color on top of your stamped image. So let me show you just kind of quickly. First of all, I do hope you can see the difference. Do you see the difference? The six pictures on the bottom have some extra coloring. And here, I'm, I'm so silly. I'm looking over here to see if you have comments. And this is a recorded video. It's not live. And so <laughs> there's that. Anyway, I'm just so used to doing it live. So all you have to do to add some of this extra color and extra dimension is take a colored pencil either in the same color or in this case I'm going kind of one shade darker because we stamped yellow and I'm using an orange pencil and I am just going over ever so softly. I'm not even pushing. I am just sort of letting the pencil just barely add color. So you just build up and then I could take my yellow, which is kind of the same color, to kind of help blend that. You don't want to use the point of the pencil, you just want to use 
the uh, do you see how there's kind of a flattened side there you just want to use a flattened edge and then you can get these on Amazon or any uh, art supply store they're called a stump and it's just wound paper and you can go over it to sort of blend and I know some people have told me they've used water or a blending brush or a wink of Stella. You can totally try that as well. But this is just a way to give a little more depth and dimension. Now, I have another video, a full video on this with other stamped images, and that will be linked in the description and also on my blog post if you want more information about that. Okay, so then... When you decide, however you want your pictures and your, you would do the cups in the same way. And I'll just show you real quickly that there is this piece that fills in the cup, but there's also this little piece that you can do on top. So let's say we're going to do some lemonade with lemon lolly. Okay, so we have our lemonade in our cup. If you want to leave the top white like that, kind of like the top is white here in these pictures, you can do that. But there's also this little piece, and this is for the top portion of the cup. And I'm just gonna stamp off because I don't want a ton of ink. And that gives you kind of that same look. So if I were using this picture with the blue on the top, I would probably use that cup so that they kind of match. And it's just like, I don't know, personal preference or just a tip. You can do that or not. You don't, you don't have to either way. <laughs> but I'm just kind of giving you all the tips here of how to stamp and use these stamps and all the colors and all the things. So now let's just look at a couple of the cards so that you can get a feel for what I did after the stamping, which I just showed you. So this one obviously is the strawberry lemonade. And these cute little strawberries are dyes in the set. So I just went ahead and cut those with Poppy Parade cardstock and Lost Lagoon. And I'm telling you, that little top of the strawberry is absolutely the tiniest die that we have. I am positive. <laughs> so when you die cut those, don't lose them. One little dot of glue is all those needed. All that was needed to put those on. And then I just sort of decorated with a couple of the other dies in the set. And let's look at those. I have all my extra pieces here that I'm still working with. So this leaf right here is one of the dies and I've tucked a few of those under the picture and I cut this from the Hello Irresistible designer paper. Isn't that pretty? This is what the other side looks like. But you get all these kind of darks and lights of the Lost Lagoon color. And I thought that was really a cool idea. So those are the leaves that I die cut and just tucked under the pitcher. And then you'll see the flowers. So this stamp and die is part of the bundle. I stamped it in lots of different colors, and then I did some where I just cut them apart and I added it to the card. The background here also is another piece of Hello Irresistible paper, as is this blanket that comes in the die set. So here's just a few different pieces. I die cut all of these from the Hello Irresistible paper and except this, this was just bubble bath cardstock. But all of these are die cut from Hello Irresistible Paper. I thought they were kind of fun. And I want to give you a tip here on this one because you're probably thinking, well, that looks a little different. So this one, I did have this piece of paper that I had watercolored. It's the same idea as 
the Hello Irresistible, but I had, this was in my stash uh, from a watercoloring project. And after die cutting it, I thought, I wonder if this would work. I took the die, I used a blending brush, and I just dabbed on Poppy Parade ink onto the die. I put it back on top of this, and it kind of just clicks into place. I ran it through my die cutting machine again, and it transferred enough ink so that you had sort of these really cool darks and lights, and that pattern of the blanket really showed up. I thought this was really pretty. And you can see that I die cut the picture out of that same piece. So I will be making a card with these two together. And when you die cut all of these floral pieces, there's a slit. See, there's this slit that just is part of the die. So then you can put your floral pieces, you can put your leaves, you can make any type of an arrangement that you'd like out of that picture. I just love that. Here's another idea with the picture. This is die cut from that Hello Irresistible paper, just one of the patterns. And I thought that was beautiful. So that'll be going on a card. Here's another idea for you, and it's not glued yet, so that's why this is kind of falling out. But check that out. I've embossed it. So it's the Hello Irresistible paper, and I embossed it. And I loved the way that looked. Here's another one, again, not glued, but just as an example, with a different embossing folder and the Hello Irresistible paper. So all different ideas there for you with the pitcher and the floral. Here I did a few on tailor-made tags. And if you remember from the very beginning of our video, here is an idea with the tag. This is just a little note card. Cut an inch off the front, put a piece of designer paper in here so that it shows, and then I die cut two extra tags to layer. So that is similar to this. That's just making a card out of that tag. I love it when a bundle gives you all of these extra possibilities. It's not, this is not just a cup of lemonade, right? You can see that you can get all sorts of different looks. So here I have cut that picture from the Hello Irresistible paper, tucked my flowers and leaves in, put it on top of a scalloped die cut and used that on the front of a note card. So we haven't even used lemonade on those. Here is a pink lemonade card. Let me move this for a sec. So pink lemonade, and hopefully you can see I have used the cute ice cube stamp that is in this bundle, stamped it in the uh, bubble bath ink on top of the bubble bath background that I showed you how to stamp. And that gives you this idea of ice cubes and cool and refreshing and all of that. And then I've combined the lemons, the flowers, the pitcher and the cups, and one of the greetings. Just a, a fun card with the cute polka dots. And that is from the Brights stack of designer papers, which is actually um, right now as of July 14th on low inventory. I use those same polka dots over here and the same polka dots and the stripes from that pack over here. So just fun with the polka dots. I was having fun with that. And then the last card that I had created with this bundle used another piece of watercolor paper that I had already created. It was in my stash of extra backgrounds. And I just thought that the fun bright yellow would be fun for a lemonade card. I've used that cute little ice cube stamp in the cups and the lemon stamp, the slice inside the pitcher, and I thought it was cute. And I don't know if you can see it, but here and down the edge of the cup, I did use Wink of Stella. I don't know if it's showing up, but I thought that gave it sort of a cute, uh, fun, refreshing, sparkly, summery sort of a look to the card. 
I did try. I thought that maybe if I die cut this picture with vellum, that it would look cute to place it on top of one of these. I thought it would be frosty and cute and fun, and I just wasn't a huge fan of how that turned out. I really just liked it without. But I'm sure there is some way to use this that it's going to look better. Maybe stamp the outline again. Um, maybe stamp on the vellum. I, I'll have to try that. But for now, I liked it this way as opposed to trying to layer the vellum. So let me just see, was there anything else I wanted to show you? I don't think so. Just looking around here. I think that was basically it. Just wanted to give you those stamping tips, the die cutting tips, different things you can do with this bundle. It doesn't have to, like I said, doesn't have to just be a lemonade card. And I am so sorry that this isn't alive and that we're not chatting back and forth because I really miss that. I love chatting with you every Friday, but Hopefully next week the signal will, will work better and hopefully you'll pop on over to pattystamps.com if you need to shop for these supplies, if you need a demonstrator, if you need a catalog, all the links are there and I would love to help you. So thank you for joining me. Thanks for watching the not so live video and I will see you next week everybody. Bye-bye.